I'm Bob Sankarian and make sure you subscribe and hit like and share your thoughts. What do you think about things I said? Libya and this continuing crisis, uh, United Nations and NATO uh, destroyed Libya and now they are pushing for elections to be realized there. United Nations only cares about Western interests, okay, in my opinion, while they pretend to care about the world war and, and the crisis in Libya was created by the United Nations and the North Atlantic uh, Alliance, which is NATO, financed by the US and the European Union. After they created a mess in Libya, now they want to point fingers at Libyans just like uh, they always do. When criminals committed a crime, they always try to justify it by blaming the victims. Okay? As, they, they, as if they deserve to be victims. Okay? Psycho mindset. This organization, United Nations, is led by killers and evil people who can be trusted. Now they are forcing uh, opposing sides to organize elections that they don't want to organize. Okay? I mean, first, you violate a country's sovereignty and you murder a leader, you kill a leader, and that was actually working uh, very well in developing his country, and you created a chaos. Like Hillary Clinton says, we came, we saw, he died, referring to Gaddafi. You destroy Libyan's future, and now you are setting up another BS to keep this going. Libya is today divided into two governments, one in the East, Libya, led by uh, Field Marshal Khalifa Haftar, and another one in the West, controlled by uh, controlling the capital Tripoli, and headed by Abdul Hamid Dabiba. Now, Gaddafi's son Saif al Islam is looking to lead the country by announcing that he's running to become the president, and um, his goals are to restore Libya to the same standards Libyans were enjoying. Um, during his father, Muhammad Gaddafi's leadership. So now, uh, NATO want to come after him. So the Western nation and the United Nations are working tirelessly uh, to block him from running. You know, Gaddafi is backed by the Haftar regime, which is supported by Russia, and, uh, uh, and Russian mercenaries are present in Libya right now, protecting the Haftar regime which is strongman in the east side of the Libya. Mr. Islam also enjoys people's support. Majority of Libyans support, support him because they know, uh, they now, now know the, how great they had it during Gaddafi's regime compared to the chaos they are living in right now. Mr. Islam has a good reputation in Libya, but the West is trying to destroy him as well as they did to his father, Muhammad Gaddafi. They are working to assassinate his character by accusing him of uh, crimes he never committed, and all because they, they want to control Libya and natural resources, petroleum and natural gas. They are setting up International Criminal Court, ICC, to prosecute him for fake allegations of crimes against humanity. During the 2011 uh, uprising in Libya, organized by the West, Saif al Islam is, uh, is, uh, is backed by Russia, and the people of the Libya, uh, therefore, if he comes to power, the West's Machiavellic desire to take control of Libya will not materialize. And now, they are looking for uh, all type of ways to either arrest him or kill him. The United Nations in the West are looking to install a puppet regime in Libya so they can control and keep stealing Libyan resources for themselves, as they always do. They are putting a, a scheme in place to influence the outcome of the election in Libya to help their puppet, the Biba, in the West part of Libya, which is the administration in West Libya, which controlled Tripoli, the capital, and Saif al Islam is the right person to lead Libya, in my opinion, because it will not allow United Nations and NATO countries to control their resources. Right? Vladimir Putin, alive, and former Roscomos, Chief uh, Rogozin, uh, was wounded in Donetsk region by Ukrainian shells. Rogozin uh, led the Tsar Wolves 
which is a team of military advisors in Donbass region, and was visiting when Ukrainians uh, spotted him and unleashed the artillery uh, on his position uh, in hotel. And the hotel he was staying uh, come under Ukrainian fire as he was celebrating his birthday on December 21st, yesterday. According to Dmitry, uh, Dmitry Regozin, his assistant, he was wounded in his back and taken to the hospital. Uh, the Ukrainian fire comes, uh, comes from the French, French built Caesar 155 milli, uh, millimeter self propelled artillery system. Also, Vitaly Kotsenko, who is the Prime Minister of the Donetsk People's Republic, was injured in this attack. Xi Jinping, Chinese leader, offers to mediate the end of the conflict in Ukraine. Russia still pushing toward Bakhmut and uh, Avdivska, trying to control these two critical cities. According to Ukrainian command, Russia has lost 100,401 soldiers since the beginning of this war. And the Associated Press announced that uh, they found 10,300 graves uh, around Mariupol, and Zelensky is here in the U.S. and he, he thanks the U.S. Congress for support and asks for more weapons. And President Biden announced uh, a new package of support to Ukraine of almost two billion U.S. dollar, which included the Patriots uh, system, which will create an effective sky shield for Ukraine. Zelensky said. And Volodymyr Zelensky also highlighted that uh, the U.S. support for Ukraine was not charity, but an uninvestment in global security and democracy. Zelensky also asked for more support because, as he put it, it was not enough. He says, quoting, we have artillery, yes, thank you, we have it. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. President Joe Biden reaffirmed his commitment to, to keep supporting Ukraine, no matter what. And he says the Ukrainians' fight against Russia is part of uh, something much bigger. And he says that if the U.S. did nothing and let Russia take over Ukraine, there will be more other countries invaded and millions will be killed. President Biden also says that uh, even though Russia lost thousands of soldiers, but uh, they have no intention to stop, uh, stopping this cruel war. I'm Boston Karian. Uh, let me know what are your thoughts about these topics.